Hi everyone, Mehmed is here. Today I will give you more tips and techniques about Desmos Art. This is the second video of Desmos Art video series. If you haven't watched the first one, if you are new to Desmos Art, please click the link in the description below and go and check the first video. Today we will talk about curves, waves and ellipses. Let's get started. <music> I am going to start with curves. I think curves are the most important part of Desmos art. It's really hard to create a good piece of Desmos art um, without using curves. So let's start. When I say curves, I believe most of you will think of a quadratic function, a parabola, and it's right. We can use parabolas to create curves. If you write quadratics in standard form, it doesn't help us a lot. It doesn't give us the mobility we want. I cannot move the graph easily. That's why we are not using this form. I am going to write the vertex form and it is much better. The vertex form is y equals a times x minus h squared plus k. Now we can easily change the opening and transform the graph. There is another function, another equation, which give you um, more control, more mobility on graphs. So I am going to use that one. It's very similar to vertex form of quadratics, but we are going to use square root. Um, here is the equation. y is equal to um, a times in the root b plus x minus h squared and plus k outside. Uh, to add square root sign or any other signs, you can just click the keyboard icon down below and see all math signs and operations there. This form is better because you can get a lot more different forms of curves. Um, you can even get the V shape here. It's really useful. That's why I am going to use this formula for curves, but you don't have to. You can just use the vertex form of quadratics and do Desmos art. There is one more thing I want to show you here. You can also change the power of x minus h right here and make the curve a lot more square. You see, when I increase the power 2 by 2, the graph looks more and more squarish. Look at this, the power 100 makes it almost a square, right? This might be useful. Um, by the way, I do not write odd powers like 3, 5, 7 because they are not really helpful. Um, okay, this is the formula which gives you a curve that opens up or down. If you need a curve which opens right or left, you just need to change the position of x and y. Let's do this. Boom. It opens right or left now. It is super useful. Okay, there are the basics of curves. Let's start today's first Desmos art piece. We are going to graph Pikachu. Let's name the project and add the picture. I will only graph the head, not all the body. That's why um, I will place the head at the center. I told you before guys, symmetric pictures are easy to draw. Um, that's why I am placing the head right here and uh, nose is almost at the origin point and try to get a reflection about the y-axis. By the way, um, you can click these little blue points and move the picture. You can also zoom in and out by only scrolling, by using scroll wheel on your mouse. Um, this is not really symmetric, but it doesn't matter because we are not going to um, draw exactly the same. There's a really useful tool in Desmos, creating folders. It helps you manage a complex um, Desmos art project. You can create folders for different portions of the project and write equations in the folders. It's useful and it makes your project super organized. I will start graphing ears and let me create a folder for this. Okay, let's start. I copied the equation before and gonna paste it here. Yep. I will change the position of x and y because I need a curve which opens up not right or left and here is the equation add sliders and you of course need to play around with sliders and get the curve you need i am trying to get this one at the bottom curve of the of the left ear and i think this is good next step is not writing slider values because there are a lot of curves here first i will duplicate the general form of the function because i need to create more and more curves i don't want to write the equation over and over again it's not easy to write and duplicate the equation and hide it by clicking the color icon because we're not going to use it i don't want it to appear on the graph and then write the slider values finally set the domain Okay, our first curve is ready. Now I am not going to use sliders. I am going to copy the same equation and paste it, transform it to get the symmetric part on the right side. 
Yes, it is good. It doesn't fit great, but it will not be a problem at the end, because the picture is just a reference, it's not the art. Now it's time to use the equation I hide it. Um, let me unhide, use sliders and try to get the top curve. We got it, great. Again, copy, paste and transform it for the other side. Duplicating saves time if the picture is symmetric. Um, there's one more part for the ears and for this part I need a curve which opens right. Um, so I need to change the function, swap x and y values and use sliders to get the curve. Set domain, great. Now for the other side, okay. Ears done, let's work on other parts. I will work on the head. Uh, now um, we need a curve which opens down. Just swap X and Y one more time. Let's work on sliders and try to get the curve we need. That's it, here it is. Now let's use the same strategies to finish all other parts. Okay, now it's time to work on mouth. Um, same equations, same techniques, but the mouth is so small, I will make it bigger. I believe it will be better again. Don't forget guys, the picture is just a reference. Okay, um, four curves and this part is done. Let's hide the picture and see what we have done. Looking good, let's continue. Next part, next part is the cheek. Um, the easiest one because there are only circles, right? And we learned circles in the previous video. Um, write the formula, use sliders, find the circle and that's it. Duplicate and transform for the other side. Done. Now it's time to work on eyes. Eyes are not circular, they are elliptical. They look like circles but they are ellipses. So we need to we need the formula of ellipse. And um, here it is. x minus h squared over a uh, plus uh, y minus k squared over b is equal to r squared. It's very similar to the circle formula but we have denominators here because we want to control more stuff here we want to make circle elliptical there are five sliders and each controls different part of the ellipse and let's try getting the eye okay it's good i will duplicate it yeah but um i didn't like the eye position let's make them closer just change the h values and make them closer okay i think it looks better now and the eyeballs are actually just circles. I will add two small circles here. But I want Pikachu to look at me, so I will place it just like that, not like in the picture. The final part is the nose. Okay, um, use basic linear equations. I don't need sliders because it is super simple. Three linear equations, let me write them, find intersection points and set domains. Perfect. Today's first project is done. I hope you like it. You can find the link for this beautiful graph in the description below. You can also try graphing the whole body if you have time. There is one more thing. Some Desmos art creators are not writing restrictions in the beginning. Um, they graph all the curves first and then find intersection points, write restrictions. It will give you a more accurate graph. It will give you the better graph, but it will look like that. So if you think it's a good idea, try using it. But for beginners, I definitely recommend you to write domains in the beginning, write restrictions in the beginning and graph like I did. After that, you may want to switch that form. Okay, let's talk about one more thing, the waves. Um, here is our fourth project, a summer scene. Let's try graphing it. It will be easy. I placed the center of the picture at the origin again. It's an important step. I'm going to start with waves. Um, for that part, we are going to use sine equation. You can also um, use cosine, but it doesn't change anything because sine and cosine are just transformations, right? Okay, um, here is the function with all the sliders. We are going to use this one here. Let's see how it looks like. We can change the wavelength, amplitude, period, and all the transformations here. That's great. Let's graph it. Okay, I think this is perfect. Set the domain. Wonderful. I'm not going to use sliders for the other waves because I will just duplicate and transform. They are really similar. Great. That is great. Um, for the shark fin, we can just use curves we learned a couple of minutes ago. Let's try. 
Yep. And for the bottom part, I am going to use sine function again because I want it to look like the, the, the waves, very similar to the waves. And for the sun, it's a circle formula. Sun rays are line segments and the birds are curves. All done. Let's change the line and curve colors. It is looking good. Okay, this is it. Um, the link for this graph is also in the description below. If you want to try curves, waves and ellipses, just search for pictures, flags, um, some logos online and uh, try graphing. I can give you two again. You can graph Kiribati's flag and Casper, the friendly ghost. Um, I think I watched too much cartoon when I was a kid. Anyways, um, these, are, these are your homework and please share the graph links. Just comment below and let me see. Okay, that's it for today. In the next Desmos art tutorial, we will color art pieces together. If you have any questions, guys, comment below and let me know. I'll be with you in another video about online teaching. Keep watching mathematics. Goodbye.